Oh, I love this music. It's really nice, yeah. So, when it came to profession, what did y'all choose? Adventure. Adventurer by trade. I went with artisan. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And what did they? What did she say? Uh, she says, while it's stated that you're an adventurer, it does also say that you are a person who, um, I don't, I'm not going to say it word for word, obviously, but, uh, who basically, you know, does crafting and gathering and all that. Hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Skinny, I swear to fucking God. Oh, this music is so relaxing. Oh, I have to speak to Stinky Cat Boy again. No. <laughs> Too bad, Kryle. It's okay. Let him go. Oh, no. Oh, no. To refresh those dusty old memories of yours. Oh, no. I need... I'm, I'm gonna wait. What? Charlie in the waits. I, I just... I need to see... Oh, that's a beautiful shot. I wish I could take screenshots. After you, my friend, I am more than content to follow your lead. Gravity is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Grahatia behind by entering a different area, using the Ethernet, or by putting too much distance between you. Or putting too much distance between you. You can also speak to Grahatia and select options. The options part way. If you wish to have Grahatia accompany you again, return and speak to him at the original. I get to walk with him? While Grahatia is accompanying you, next try speaking to Kryon. Really? <gasps> He's following me! All set, then let us be on our way. First stop, amusingly enough, will be the last stand. It's a cafe on the west side of the harbor. Lead your two companions to the last stand and speak with Cryo at the designated location. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way of which offer additional topics of discussion. Come on, children. This is so cool. This really is cool. Oh my god. The reason I pulled over is I wanted to hear I wanted to hear what Pluby's gonna be like. Oh, here's a point. Now that is a sight one could hardly forget. The great statue of Thaliac. As a student of Baldessia, I was usually quartered on the Isle of Val. But I would gaze upon the scholar's wise features every time I returned by ship to the city. This path leading out towards the sea is known as the Thaliac Th Stoa, so named for the statue of the scholar which stands at its end. This music is incredible, holy shit. It's so good. As you know, the Shilin people prize the accumulation of wisdom above all else. Thus, when Thaliac was chosen as our patron deity, it was more of a matter of pragmatism than belief, an alignment of principles, as it were. We may have honored him with a rather impressive sculpture, yes, but our faith is not so restrictive as that of, say, the Ashgardi. Individual Shilins can, and do, worship the divinities of their choosing. Huh. Okay.
y'all are just walking, taking in the views. Meanwhile, I'm like a kid at an amusement park. And here we are, the last stand. I may have mentioned this before, but although our research into nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive, the average Charlian tends to regard seasoning and flavor with a certain indifference. How can I put this? The food is, um, it's bland. As encapsulated by our famous Archon Loaf, the prevailing sentiment towards cuisine is dietary value first our and food. taste as a distant second. Our food our is garbage. Is garbage. <laughs> there was one pupil at the studio, however, who could stomach the school's insipid meals no longer, so he quit his lessons and poured all his savings into building a proper eatery. And so the last stand came to be. It is, as the name implies, the sole dedicated outpost for fine dining in Charlian. The one and only bastion of the culinary arts in an isle of otherwise mediocre fare. Is it snowing? It's, it's snowing. fucking oh snowing. Oh my god. Talk about that climate change. <laughs> I seem to recall their bur burger? Oh no. <laughs> Being hailed as one of the most impressive items on the menu, not that I've ever had the pleasure of eating one myself. <laughs> I guess we know what we're having. Graha Tia well, was uh, saying like, oh, there's a burger? Me too, me too, Abby. <laughs> oh uh, because uh, because oh you were a typical Shylian when it came to cheap and convenient Raha, but oh, surely Titaro no. has since taught you how to appreciate a well-prepared dish. We should all stop in when the time permits and sample the cafe's delights. Shall we press on? The stairs to the side of the cafe there will take us up to the Aetherite Plaza. Don't you want a burger, Cerulee? I do. <laughs> you can eat it with Graha. Share some fries. Maybe a milkshake, two straws. A burger and a shaky. A burger and a shaky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is actually really cool what we got going on here. Though admittedly, I might not need this for now. <laughs> I can't imagine why. What, no words, Lizzie? No, not at all. I got the real deal right here. This is so fucking cool, the three of us just walking up. The this is so cool! <laughs> it really is. Oh my god. Oh, there's all the people. Holy shit, yeah, there is everybody. Get right first. Well, yeah. probably should. Because we'll forget, because we're stupid. Come on, gang. Come over here, Cryo. An unusual shape, isn't it? I assure you, however, that it's perfectly a perfectly functioning Aetherite. Remember to attune yourself before we move on. Thank you. Now, being the diligent tour guide that I am, I should make mention of the Confluence, a research facility located on this very plaza. It is very much vaunted. It's very much vaunted discoveries are the reason reasons Charlie stands at the forefront of teleportation technology. In deciphering the underlying principles of elegant etherites, it allowed us to understand and reconstruct what was essentially a lost art. And off we go to our next destination. Our path leads us northeast to Agora, Charlian's largest marketplace. Okay. All right. I'm assuming it's where everybody is over here. I see the market board. Yeah. Don't forget to tune to the shards every time you pass by him. Mm-hmm. These videos I'm making are gonna be so novice, but bro, I don't know how to do videos. What's over here? What do y'all got to say? Graha. Do you mind if I uh, browse the shelves for a moment? There might be some hidden gems I've yet to read. Only a moment. How optimistic. Feel free to breeze, browse all you like, but we won't wait around for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, perhaps I'll return here later. He's so defeated. He's so sad and defeated. All right, Kryle. <clears throat> These little open-air book stalls are so uniquely Charlian. I'd always thought them a common sight until I visited other nations. There's so many bunnies. Yeah. We're doing 
Pinoy. Pinoy. <laughs> Holy shit, this is crazy good. What you got to say, Cryo? Welcome to the Agora, where you can find wares made in Charlian, as well as a wide selection of imported goods. They also used to sell questionable prototypes from the various research institutes, but I think that practice has thankfully died out. For the most part. Otherwise, I can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Am I overselling it? <clears throat> on a more serious note, the next stop on our tour is one which has particular particular re relevance to our ultimate purpose here. We must head back to the 8th right plaza, follow the path north, and climb the stairs up to that imposing building at the very top. Why did you have to call it that? <laughs> so many bunnies. I see so many ears sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna jump down. <laughs> Down. I did it. Okay. Oh, I landed in the water. Oh, now your boots are wet. You think this man's is a Rokadin? Wait. They got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> they got stuck. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> Oh shit, they're they're gone. You've lost your children. This would only happen to Silver, I swear. <laughs> well. Are they following you? Because they need to follow you. Okay, now they suddenly pop back in. <laughs> okay. Alright then. <laughs> they disappeared. And then they just popped back into places I ran back. <laughs> like, okay then, that's a companion thing that goes into many games. Hop. Oh, there's a thing over here. Bruh, I'd be out of breath climbing this thing. What the <laughs> fuck? All right, Graha, what do you what do you have to say for yourself this time? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> These little decorative features are typical of Charlian architecture. Aside from the research wing, our headquarters on the Isle of Val were rather simplistic and rustic by comparison. In Cryo? This is. The what? Nef the what? Nephaeum. Nephaeum. An area dedicated to the blessings of water. For Charlians, water represents more than a life-sustaining liquid. It is a reminder of the great flood which precipitated... I give up. Pre precipitated. No, precipitated. The birth of our nation, as well as the symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thaliac's divine ewer. This is the reason you see an abundance of fountains throughout the city and a prop propensity. Can you stop being a fucking thesaurus <laughs> for utilizing water as a decorative feature in our ar architecture? I am a dumbass. Can you please put this in simpler terms? <laughs> uh, Foxy, you like dinosaurs, don't you? Yeah, I do. Maybe at this point I'd be probably a little winded as far as climbing these stairs. You just stairs get go. up to the <laughs> top of these stairs and you just. <sighs> uh, uh, I think. <laughs> I know I'd be winded to come to fucking asthma. So many stairs. I was like, I want to go here, and then I see that. I was like, never mind. This grand structure before you is the Rostra. The name. What? <laughs> The name Sorry. refers to the original public platform erected here, upon which a forum of elected representatives would deliver orations and debate policy. Ew. <laughs> oh, those... Sorry, caught me off guard. The people just, just jumping jump. down. He's oh, that rock guard off. is backed up. <laughs> 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 Although the stage has since evolved into council chambers, the nature of the forum and the duties of its members remain largely unchanged. Am I boring you, Raha? You seem awfully distracted. My apologies. From here, one can see the entire city spread out below. Oh yeah. The vista put me in a <clears throat> in a mind of the uh in my the vista put me in mind in mind of okay 
In mind of my arrival in the first, those who had gathered at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. Naturally, my answers were all inspired by the knowledge of the finest settlement I could ever think of, the great city of Charlien. And, bit by bit, those few buildings grew into a town, a community, the Crystarium. I can almost see its echo. I see. Feel free to come up here whenever you wish. I don't think the counselors would object to you simply enjoying the view. Such memories should be treasured. For now, however, the tour must go on. Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with the fittingly named Journey's End. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. Stairs. More stairs. <laughs> up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> Dude, look out to the city as we climb down these stairs. Oh my word. It is so cool. I'm gonna poo. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this game when, I, uh, when I'm on vacation for Christmas. God damn it. Oh, nice. why did I make it 12 days? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Shortened to just one week because FF needs me. <laughs> My Graha husband needs, needs me. me. <laughs> Grahatia needs me. My I husband is with you at home. <laughs> My husband's being at home and he wants to know what a burger is. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine just a Graha chowing on a burger? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We've arrived at Journey's End. History tells us that this was where those who put ashore with Archon... I'm not doing that. Built their first homes. In the present day, it serves as the residential district for the most important officials in the oldest Charlian families. You'll see that one mansion is clearly larger than its neighbors. That estate belongs to our friends from House Olivier. All things considered, we should probably keep our distance for the time being. Ooh. And with that, we bring our little Charlian tour to a close. I hope it has proven to be an entertaining and enlightening experience. Now shall we head directly to the Baldessian Annex? You remember the way, don't you, Raha? Let me think. We head down the uh, we head down towards the harbor, cross the bridge to our right, then follow the path below the Aetherite Plaza. Is there more stairs? Correct. After you. <laughs> There's a video of Gratia eating a burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Really a man after your own heart, Fluvi. <laughs> and you wonder and you wonder why I love Grahatia oh, so much. Oh, there was no there was no debate about how much you loved him. It's just funny. He really is a man after my own heart. Oh my god. Don't say anything spicy, I have to, uh, I don't want no spoilers. <laughs> the next Is this fourteen? I can't tell if it's fourteen. The next big cutscene is just <laughs> Graha sitting at a table, just face full of half a burger. <laughs> God. He would. Just, just him, like, just gorging it down. <laughs> he takes he one, you know, one. clean bite, sees how tasty it is, and just. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, Kryle's just, like, uh, just starts panicking, like, Graha, you can't eat that many, uh, burgers at one time! Graha, stop! Graha's like, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna blow up? No, worse! It'll go right to your thighs! I don't think I want to see a drawing of that! Oh, God. <laughs> My thighs? Christ. And then you blow up! And then you blow up. Oh, Graha my just God. just becomes dummy thick. Gra uh, fucking dummy thick Rahatia, bruh. <laughs> you could've just taken the shortcut over here, guys. What <laughs> shortcut? I don't see no shortcut over here. Yeah, it would've been through there. Run with your hubby. Wow, why are you freaking <laughs> not even following the pathway? You suck. <laughs> Ah, uh, right, damn, right. what a crime. As the joyous I chose a shorter Graha way. Face has undoubtedly informed you, this is the Baldessian Annex. If you continue up the hill, you'll arrive in the doorstep of Phenomenon. 
phenomena, but I think we've explored enough for one day. We can take you there another time. Inside with you, then. <clears throat> oh, cutscene. Oh, I don't want This looks voiced. This might be voiced, yeah. Yep. No, it's not. Never mind. Oh, shit. Oh, I, thought no, it was I didn't get to read that. Ah, you were <laughs> right about the ship, then. Hello, Grahas. Nice to see you again. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you. I've heard many a tale of your exploits. I hate Lala names. Ojika. Oh my gosh. Ojika Sunjika, I guess. That sounds like an Eastern name almost. Yeah. Who's been an age? Allow me to introduce Ojika Sunjika. Eureka, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, that person. Oh. I remember you now. Remember That's you right. Now. Eureka. <laughs> oh, yes, Eureka. I read the initial reports. Quite a shock to hear what's become of the Isle. Do take care if you had the opportunity to rejoin the expedition. This place is like a second home for the students. The Isle of Val served as our head or their main headquarters, of course, but we often had occasion to visit Charlian. Whether to make use of the city's research facilities, attend conferences, or procure supplies from distant shores. And the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engaged in such activities. Ever since our former headquarters, along with the Isle itself, vanished, the, the annex has served as our base of operations. And yet it feels so empty. With so many lost to us, our organization is a shell of its former self. The day will come when we will see the students rise again. First, we must ensure that the Telephoroi fall. Through the door on the left, there is the main hall, where we can discuss our options moving forward. Can I go touch that shard real quick, though, Kryle? Once everyone arrives, that is. You probably have time to rest before our discussions begin in earnest. I've had private quarters prepared for you and the Andron, so please feel free to make yourself at home. Ah, the nap rooms. Perfect for an afternoon doze. God damn it, you're still a cat. Oh, I don't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed. Far more so than some cheap roadside inn, you may be assured. Just simply that we often... We, <clears throat> we were so often busy with research or exhausted from journeys abroad that we would slip into the Andron just to steal a few winks. And thus, they became known amongst the students as nap rooms. Oh my Even God. if many such naps might last well into the following morning. Oh like boy, it's a word, and I'll be happy to show you to your chamber. It's literally just a. It's. This is literally just a college fucking campus, yeah. and Grahatia is like the alumni or something like that. Jesus Hopefully Christ. The others won't be too long in coming. I'll wait for you all in the main hall. Okay. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Can I go touch the shard now? It was right behind me. You whisked me away. You done took it me away. Oh god! People! people. Jesus Oh god, shit. people! Ew, people. Let me just go touch this real quick. Yeah, let me touch that too. <laughs> okay. Not like a good luck shard. <laughs> For the upcoming sats. <laughs> okay, I got a bad feeling that this is gonna be a big cutscene. I'm gonna be right back, actually. Oh, I already pressed the button. Oh, okay, it just takes you right in front of Kryle. Alright. Okay. I need, I'm gonna, like, stop my recording and, like, go use the bathroom. Okay. Ah! I don't know what I just activated in my game. <laughs> Pray forgive me. I was delayed. It's fine, Marianne. We're all here now. Let's get down to business then, shall we? Uh... 
Come what may, we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian. Not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. As most of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. The Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlie in focus on recording history, while remaining entirely uninvolved in the making of it. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather, Gallop, was one such member, as was Archon Luiswa. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. Fucking what? Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. Are you fucking serious? I hate Fortune this place. refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, it simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? A mystery indeed, and one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas. Namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. The request in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nidana, an alchemist residing in distant Flavnair. Her missive describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a Luna Primal. There's a primal there? In response to this threat, the satrap of Rads at Han, the individual who governs the city-state, has instructed the alchemists to find a means to deal with the spire. The artisans of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition, one rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. It is possible Nay, probable that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, and having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Equal, I think, to the Thavnarian one, given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also like to steal the services of an Archon or two. 
and thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. I will help with that. Allow me to offer my assistance. I have some small amount of experience in the field of research. Alizé and I would also like to help, if you would have us. Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the Forum might be thinking. Of course, the more the merrier. Right. <coughs> the rest of us will make the journey to Thavnir. Thoughts? Okay. Objections? I passed through Thavnir on my way to infiltrate the Empire. And though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriage. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. We're already going to Thavnir. We have to choose between either staying here in Charlian or going to Thavnir. I'm assuming that we're going to eventually end up having to do both. Probably. Kind of like the Alice and Alphino quest from Shadowbringers. Yeah, yeah. it would not surprise me. This better. It is not better than what I have. It's actually well, the same thing that I have at this very moment. I'm yeah. That's why I'm saving my coffers for like a job that I may want or need that sort of actually, level later. What I have is actually better, so I just keep this for glamour or something. I'm just holding on to it for now. Do we want to go to Thavnir first, or we want to stay here? It's your call, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Kind of want to check out. Here, I'll Thavnir. flip the coin. Here, I'll you flip a coin. How about that? Okay. Okay. Well, we got one point for Thavnir. You uh, flip the coin. Okay, so heads is Thavnir. So I guess we're going to Thavnir then. That settles it. No way. No, he hasn't flipped it yet. He said oh. heads is Thavnir. But trying to clear room on the table. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Hold on. Get back here. <laughs> <laughs> 